We have the brand new M2 Mac Mini, probably the best bang for the buck computer out there. And we are super excited to take a look and test this thing out. But first, what we are most curious about is if Apple changed the cooling system because this has a new M2 chip in it. And of course, they're allowing you to get the M2 Pro and even the M2 uses 30% more power, actually slightly more than that compared to the original one. Now with that, Apple has been cheaping out with SSDs. So we wanna see, did Apple lower the SSD performance just like they did with the 13 inch MacBook Pro and Air? Well, right now we are gonna find out. Now, as I'm opening up this thing, I have to let you know that we are doing a giveaway, not only of a new 14 inch M2 Pro MacBook Pro, but also a Mac mini. And all you have to do is one, be subscribed, two, enable notifications, and three, comment down below, which you could do on our previous launch videos all the way up to February 1st when we are announcing the winner. And with that, we actually bought 10 Macs plus two more today. So we're gonna do a ton of different testing and comparisons. So you definitely wanna be subscribed. All right, it's almost off here. And one of the things I'm excited for is the new Wi-Fi 6E and the updated Bluetooth. Uh, and I will be testing that out. I actually went out and bought a new router so we can get the maximum speeds. Let's get that cable undone. Look how tiny that little motherboard is. A part of me still wishes that they redesigned this. And Vadim. What's up? <laughs> look at this. No, 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 no. Do you no, see no. that? Oh, I do. Do you see that? We thought this could happen. Apple dropped the price. At least that's a good thing. But we have an empty SSD oh, uh, little yeah. section right there that previously did have a SSD chip in there, a little memory chip. Uh, and that means that most likely the SSD in here is gonna be very slow. And that does make a difference like we showed you guys, but we will test that out. Let's go ahead and take this fan off. And to me, it looks basically identical to the previous one which is okay, because the previous M1 Mac Mini didn't have an issue cooling, uh, but of course the M2 uses quite a bit more power. Now there is a chance that Apple could be spinning this fan up higher. Uh, we'll check that part of it out. And on the right side here, you guys see that power supply. It is quite large for this system. It's the same as the old Intel ones that used a ton of power, but if you get the M2 Pro, it actually has a larger power supply. All right, we got that part of it out, and now you can have a closer look of that memory chip, a single one, and that empty slot where Apple used to put in two. And we know now it's not a part of a memory shortage. There's plenty of chips, and they went down in cost by a lot. So pretty much everything looks identical to the M1 Mac Mini. The cooler looks the same, and it just shocks me how much empty space there is in this system. Now, let's go ahead and put this back together because we are gonna turn it on and test out the SSDs and uh, maybe a few other things. So we're all set up, we're installing the latest software updates and one cool thing we just saw on Twitter is that the M2 Mac Mini was registered by Apple almost a year ago in February of 2022. So when we talked about that the Mac Mini is gonna launch in the March event last year, well, it was ready, they registered it, but they waited this long to actually release it for multiple reasons. All right, we have Blackmagic ready to test, but before we do that, if you're a Mac user who does any sort of work with documents, spreadsheets, or slideshows on your Mac, our sponsor, Software Keep, has given our viewers 25% off genuine Microsoft software, like a one-time purchase of Microsoft Office for Mac, which includes Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Now, there are so many fishy websites out there that could scam you, but Software Keep is a Microsoft certified partner who only sells 100% genuine Microsoft software, so you don't have to worry, which resulted in Software Keep earning over 100,000 five-star reviews. They also have great prices on other software, including the most popular antivirus software out there, and their customer service is phenomenal, with 24-7, 365 customer support, where you'll get to talk to a real person instead of a robot, so if you have any questions, they'll be glad to help. So buy a Microsoft Office for Mac or anything else that you need today and save 25% off their already great prices by using the link in the description and the coupon code MTYT25. So here you can see that we have the base model Mac Mini for $500 $99 or $499 if you're a student, 256 gig of RAM. We don't have very much stuff on here, which will help with this test. Latest software, let's go ahead and check out the black magic speed. So right away there, you guys are seeing that we're getting 1614. Oh my gosh. The read speed is 1547. Oh no. Usually it's a little bit higher on the first run. 
Right there you can see just like the M2 MacBook Pro meant to air, it actually settles down at 1400 on the right speed. That is actually slower than the 2018 Mac Mini with Intel. That Intel model is almost twice as fast in terms of write speed, and the 2018 Intel is 70% faster in terms of read speed. But how does it compare to the previous M1 Mac Mini? Well, in terms of the write speed, the M1 is 60% faster. And in terms of read speed, the M1 version is about 90% faster or almost twice as fast. So what do these performance numbers mean for the real world? Well, I'll let you guys know here in just a sec in the performance differences, but at least I wanna say that I'm glad that Apple lowered the price by $100 since they're making this a lot slower. But with that, I'm also very nervous about the 512 gigabyte model, which costs $200 more. Now, we actually bought four total Mac minis with a variety of specs, both a couple of M2 models and a couple M2 Pros. So we'll test out the 512, and hopefully that version is not as slow as this one is. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you guys want to see that. Now, with performance this bad, if you're somebody that just does web browsing, checking emails, you will be just fine, as long as you don't open up a crazy amount of tabs. But if you're somebody that's productive with their Mac, which you most likely are if you're watching this channel, we broke with the M2 MacBook Pros that we saw a big difference in performance even if you don't do anything too extreme. Now we did have a lot of haters that were saying it doesn't matter, but some of them actually changed their minds later when they actually used the system for themselves and said it does make a big difference. For example, just transferring a 42 gigabyte folder we saw a massive difference in performance, 23 seconds compared to two minutes and 17 seconds. And yes, the M2 Mac Pro's SSDs perform exactly like this two M2 Mac Mini. Now, why is it such a huge difference even though the speed's about half? Well, the way SSDs work is you have caching. So not only do you have the slower speeds, but after just a small file transfer, the speeds slow down dramatically and we have a massive difference in performance. And then if you're doing video editing with just 10 Chrome tabs open. And then if you're doing simple video editing with just 10 tabs open, the base model was actually twice as slow as the 512 because Apple slowed it down and removed one of those chips. And even the M1 MacBook Air base model was quite a bit faster than the new M2 setup. And that's something that you would not expect with a brand new machine coming out years later. And the same thing goes for those of you guys that work with photos, having both eight gigs of RAM, just the difference in SSD, made the system almost twice as fast when you're exporting. And who doesn't have web browsing tabs open? And not only that, it gets way worse if you're running more things like a couple different programs, and even the whole system will get laggy uh, because they do use swap memory and the SSD is so much slower that it slows your whole system down. Now we have very detailed videos comparing eight gig versus 16, comparing 256 versus 512 with only SSDs being different. So if you're considering buying a base model or upgrading to 512, check out those videos because there's a lot of great info and a lot more tests. But with that said, with all the knowledge that we have testing the M2 chips with these SSD slowdown issues and cost cutting, I will just say that if you're watching our channel, you should definitely spend extra money and get a good SSD. We'll test out the 512 is twice as fast, um, so we'll see that here very soon. But in general, with Apple Silicon, the way the architecture and the unified memory is designed, you need to have a fast SSD. So it's very disappointing to see Apple cutting costs like this uh, in their production. The chips are plentiful, they're cheap, and honestly, I wish that they kept the price the same but gave us twice as fast SSDs instead of now lowering it by hundred bucks, but then you need to spend another $200 more to get fast SSDs uh, because not everybody needs to have 512. We use external storage. Uh, here's our recommended SSD. We'll link it down in the description as well. And with that, you have a lot more flexibility. You can use the multiple systems. So we would buy a base model, but now we can't and we would not suggest buying a base
base model. Stop, don't buy this one. If you watch tech videos, you do productivity, it's well worth it to have the full performance, the way the M2 chip was meant to be run. So once again, comment down below, make sure you subscribe and have notifications enabled so you're entered to win. Watch the previous videos back to the launch, comment on those and the new ones that we're gonna make with these new Macs and comments so you guys have the best chance to win either a 14 inch MacBook Pro or a Mac Mini and we'll reveal the winner on February 1st. Check out those videos right there comparing the SSDs and their RAM. Click above to subscribe to Max, and I'll see you in the next one.